you remember when you were a kid and used to play broken telephone i remember it vividly my earliest memory of the game was at a summer camp and would be going around and you would try your hardest to make sure you're relaying the message to the next person but there'd always be that one person who would just on purpose mess up the message for everybody else i see this so often in organizations not necessarily the person that intentionally messes up but the fact that the message is not the same when it is transferred to another person either verbally or you know through training that new individual and that's why documenting your processes is so important another thing that i see is as organizations as as leaders we often don't realize the need for that documentation until it's too late and i see one of two things happening either that person is going on vacation and they'll be unavailable and you know now we're scrambling to figure out how they did their work and we're spending the last three days before they go on vacation downloading all the information or as much information as possible to the person that will be sitting in for them. The next scenario I see is that person is no longer with the company. Maybe they've been released or they've gone on to greener pastures. And now the rest of the team and the leadership is scrambling, trying to figure out how do we do that thing that only this person knew how to do. And it's because we did not take the time to document things. I'm a firm believer that everyone is responsible for documentation. So as often as you can, as early as you can, you should be taking time to document exactly how you work and how you do things. Now, it's important that there's a culture around documentation because you don't want to get people on edge. You want to communicate the need and the why around this because it is possible, and I've seen it firsthand, where you now ask people out of the blue to start documenting everything that they do. And with the economic climate that we're in, this can be a bit unsettling. People can think, oh, well, why do they want this information all of a sudden? Is my job at risk? And so we want to make sure we have these conversations to relate to them that, no, it has nothing to do with performance. It has nothing to do with being replaced, but it has everything to do with aligning the company around how we work around here. Oftentimes when I'm coming in to take a look at systems and processes, it's because people have come in from different organizations that have different ways of completing tasks, different ways of operating, and there's no standard way of working within that company. So these people that have come from different walks of life continue to operate however they want to, and there's no standards created, and there's no way to ever really align the team. So there's confusion where the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing and then your teams are not aligned. So as often as you can, communicate the why, build a culture around documentation so that people really understand we're doing this so we can all grow, we can all succeed. We're doing this so that when you go on vacation and take that PTO, you have someone here that can cover your responsibilities and you don't have to worry. And if you are the founder, the CEO that's in that role and you haven't taken a vacation in seven years, then you are the person that should be documenting because there's no reason why if you've documented your processes you shouldn't be able to step away for a day or two or ten to enjoy life with your family and go do the things that you know bring you joy and really fill you up and so that's why I stress the importance of documentation so much so if you haven't already go and document something because when it's written it's real and I'm a firm believer that if it isn't documented it didn't happen